eyeshadow primer potion as always want to make sure that we prime our eyes so that our shadows do not crease if you have oily eyelids and also so that the pigment is nice and vibrant I'm going to be dipping into my urban decay vice palette and as you can see it's not very well loved but it's loved at the same time I love it so much I don't want to use it all the time but I'm gonna pick up this shade called lace with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply that on to the crease of my lid and that way this is going to serve as the transition shade picking up a vice which is the nice purple shade with a shader brush I'm going to place this shade on the inner corner part of my lid and as you can see I'm packing on that shade just to make sure that it is nicely vibrant and that it catches most of the attention once that is placed in the inner corner I'm going to start kind of putting it in the crease as you can see I'm pushing the brush into the crease so it almost creates like a cut crease in a sense after that I'm going to take the shade armor with that same shadow brush and I'm going to place this shade on the outer two-thirds of my lid but I am going to not go past the crease this is going to serve so that our eye looks a little bit more rounded and more light is reflecting on the outer part of our lid then taking a fluffy brush this is going to be a different one I'm going to start just kind of blending out the crease so that the purple and the armor shade vice and armor blend nicely together taking this light shade called anonymous so like mysterious anonymous I'm putting that on my brow bone but taking the shade vice I'm going to take this pencil brush from morphe and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line all the way across because I want to place a lot of this purple vice shade in this area Today we are going to be applying some gel liner. I'm going to be going in with my Mica Beauty Cosmetics gel liner which I received in one of my boxy charm boxes and I'm going to start lining out my eye with this brush that also came in a boxy charm box. So you can see I am winging it out. I created the little triangle and I'm just trying to fill it in and trying to keep it as straight as possible. It takes practice my friends it does <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my liquid liner from NYC and I'm just going to put that over just to intensify the black and also I want more of a matte um, finish on my liner so that's why I'm going in with that using my favorite prestige coal liner for the waterline I'm going to place this in the waterline as you can see I'm using a brush to kind of hold down my eye so that I don't disturb any of the products that I've already placed under there then I'm going to use that same pencil brush from Morphe from earlier just to try to smudge out the black liner that I placed Always make sure to curl your lashes to get the maximum benefits from your mascara. I am going to be using the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit, which kind of states that you don't have to curl your lashes, but I find that I like them curled from the beginning, and yeah, I just feel like it looks perfect that way. So I'm just going to apply a few coats of this mascara just to make sure my lashes are nicely coated. As you can see, they lift nicely. And I do like to go on my lower lashes with this same mascara. Today I'm using this one. Usually I use my Rimmel Lash Accelerate Mascara, but today we're just doing Benefit. Now I'm going to go in to contour my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in the shade Light to Medium. As you can see, I'm using this Real Techniques 
contouring brush, I like to place the product in the hollows of my cheeks and then I like to blend it upwards just to create that gradient. I also kind of like to hug the cheek area just to kind of make it look more round and I'm just going in and blending out everything so it looks really, really good. For blushes today, I'm going to be using some of my favorite blushes, which are by Benefit. And I'm going into this little tin can that I got uh, for the holidays. And I'm going to be going in with, what is this one? This one is Rocketour. Yeah, Rocketour. And I'm going to place that on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to run it back towards the contour, towards my temples in a way. And then for highlight today, I'm going to be using this cream highlight from Benefit called What's Up. I'm just going to use my ring finger and I'm just going to dot it on the highest points of my cheeks and then just blend it out. This gives kind of like a soft focus highlight which I really like uh, especially when the eyes are kind of you know extravagant in a way. I'm going to be placing a little bit on the nose because you guys know that I like that and on my cupid's bow to make my lips appear more defined and lifted. Then using these NYX lashes, I'm just going to apply those just to give my eye a little bit more of a dramatic appearance and just to make it look fuller and, you know, good for camera. Using this Kat Von D in the shade Vampira, this is one of her liquid lipsticks. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the lips. What's nice about liquid lipsticks is that you don't really need a lip liner to line because the doe foot applicator and the product itself are just so easy to line your lips. And here is the finished look. I do hope that you enjoyed this Vice palette look. I feel like this is a really nice fall look for us to rock. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is at Exquisite Glow. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.